What's up, my dudes? All right, man. So uh, here are my uh, pickups for uh, June second. Uh, we're gonna start off with Marvel. Uh, I don't really collect Marvel as I used to, like I used to. Um, I think now my comic book collection is, I think percentage-wise, it's more independent now. It used to be Marvel. Um, I'm in, I'm in the thousands as far as like comic books. And how much I own or how many I own so but I think independents are now the majority um, just just because Marvel you know <laughs> spin-offs and side issues and just put a lot of books out so I kind of broke it down or knocked it down to Thor stuff it's my favorite character and right now I'm collecting anything X-Men just because Jonathan Hickman is uh, it's kind of spearheading the whole X-Men thing right now uh, he's my favorite writer so I'll pick up anything X-Men right now, uh, even the stuff that he's not writing just because, you know, it's all connected. And then right now I'm collecting <laughs> Heroes Reborn because it's an easy, it's a small event. It's not that big of an event. It's easy to collect. It's weekly, and the spinoffs are not that crazy. There's not that many. Um, <laughs> but knowing Marvel, they'll probably uh, they'll probably start a series of one of the spinoffs uh, if it gets popular enough. So, so we'll get ahead and start. So I picked up uh, Heroes Reborn, issue 5. And then uh, I think two of the spinoffs, American Knights, issue one, and uh, Marvel Double Action, issue one. And then to the X-Men stuff, uh, here's um, X-Force, which is 20. Marauders, issue 21. Helions, uh, issue 12. And that's it for the Marvel, and then we'll go into the independent stuff. So, Commanders in Crisis, a uh, really cool book. Um, the art is great. I think I picked this the first issue up just because I opened it up at the comic book shop, and I think one of the splash pages looked crazy, so I just I picked it up, and I've been liking it. So, what do we got? Uh, Deep Beyond, issue five. Fire Power, issue 12. This is a Hickman book. I mean, not Hickman, I'm sorry. <laughs> Robert Kirkman book. Uh, it's been pretty good. I think he, the first thing he came out with was that trade that I guess introduced the story and then the single issue started, came out, started coming out. So uh, it's been pretty good so far. Uh, I hope he goes far with this book i know you know his books tend to go up in the the higher numbers of course invincible and walking dead being one of the higher numbers um i can't remember how far his other book went um i can't remember the name right now about the it's like walking dead it's to zombies this book is to demons outcast that's the book i think that i mean it didn't get up to the hundreds but it got pretty high and kirkman gets up there so I hope this goes at least into the 30s, 40s. Noctera, uh, issue four. Um, it's Scott Snyder, great writer, so picked it up. The Walking Dead Deluxe, issue 16, is basically just the, re the same Walking Dead book that came out years ago, issue 16, um, just co in color. Um, I have the whole Walking Dead series. Um, but this, they're re-releasing everything in color, so it's pretty dope. And then we have issue one of Out of Body. Uh, I didn't have this on my list. I just kind of picked it off the shelf um, from Aftershock. Looked pretty neat. Art, art looks decent. I actually don't know what it's about, but it looks pretty dope. <laughs> and then the last book, The Nice House on the Lake. I, I do not collect DC Comics at all. I'm not a fan of DC Comics um, superheroes. Um, but I picked this up because it looked cool, and I think it's the black label. Um, so it doesn't have anything to do with the DC Universe or anything like that. So the DC Superhero Universe. So... I picked it up. I don't. I think this is my first DC book. 
I know it's my first DC book in years, but as far as, um, you know, I think, I don't think I have any DC superhero stuff. It might be other black label stuff, but it looked really cool. Um, again, I have no idea what it is, uh, but I saw it on the thing, on the, on the shelf, on the table, and... Uh, the guy that works at the comic book shop convinced me, so uh, yeah, can't wait to read that one. So if I had to pick one issue for this week to, I guess, if I had to pick one that I'm most excited to read, or maybe if I could only pick one to pick up today, it would probably be <sighs> Commanders in Crisis, man. It's, it's been really good. The art is, I love the art. Uh, I don't know what it is. It's just, it's great. Um, but yeah, Commander in Crisis. If I had to pick one today, it would have been Commanders in Crisis. All right, man. Laters.